In this series of videos, we're going to take a look at web typography. And we've got here a very simple layout just to get us started and give us something that we can actually work with to do some typography on the screen. So the first video is going to be all about selecting typography and typefaces. So let's just have a quick look at what choices we have available to us. Well, many of the typefaces that we can choose are typefaces that we can almost guarantee are on everybody's computer. And those are things like Arial, Times New Roman, Courier, Comic Sans, Impact, Lucida Grand, Tahoma, Trebuchet, Vedana, those kinds of things. And even those are not on every single computer. Now, when we think about the web, we're thinking about mobile devices and tablets, and they don't always have these exact typefaces on them and sometimes have slightly different ones. So we're going to look at exactly how we go about choosing typefaces and ways to ensure that we get typefaces to work. Common way to use typefaces is simply just to put in font family, then the name of the typeface that you want to choose. So if you wanted Arial, you would say Arial, and then you put a comma and say something like sans serif. And this is what's known as a fallback. So it's giving you the option of Arial as a typeface. And then if you don't have Arial installed, the next one that you would have is just choose a sans serif typeface. So that's basically how you go about adding a typeface and changing the way it looks. At the moment, the default for this is uh, Times New Roman. But those aren't always the best typefaces to choose. And obviously, if you're designing, you're probably going to want to do something a little bit more complex than that. So let's go over and take a look at Google Fonts. And if we go to Google Fonts, there's a couple of typefaces that I quite like at the moment, and I'm just going to pull them up. So the first one is IBM Plex Serif, which I'm going to use as my uh, heading font. So let's have take a look at that one. And we can see here, the reason I like it is because it's got lots of choices for what you can do with it. So we're going to select the font. And if we go into here and choose customize, we can also specify, you know, if we want a light version of it or a medium version of it as well. So I'm going to choose um, regular and medium just so that we get something there that we can work with that makes it a little bit sort of darker if we need to. Then when you're working with type, it's obviously a good idea to try and choose a good typeface to work with it. So here we can see this one's got Roboto um, chosen with it. I'm not going to choose that one. I'm actually going to go back and look for another one. So I'm going to use Open Sans if I can find it, which is over here. So Open Sans, I quite like this one as well. Again, it's got lots of good choice on the screen here. So let's select that font as well. And now we can see we have two typefaces selected. I'll just leave this at regular, IBM Plex and Open Sans. So we go to embed and I copy this. And in my index, all I do is drop this in at the top. And then let's take these across and go to the body. And I'm just gonna paste them in here remove the IBM Plex Serif. Let's save that. And if we go back and view our page now, we've now got it all with the Open Sans Serif. So to select this to work on all my headings, I'm going to do H1, H2, H3. I know I've not got any more than that on the page. And then pop them in like so. And now we can see we've got these on the page. And it's beginning to look a little bit better. So that's just a very simple way to choose some typefaces and to be able to get your own custom typefaces across and working on your website. 